Well, neighbors near Jay Bear might have heard a bit of an extra air traffic booming through the sky these last two weeks. But as the U.S. Air Force and the Royal Australian Air Force kicked off Red Flag 23-3, Georgina Fernandez brings us inside the gates. That Red Flag thunder is back. Around 2,000 people from over 20 units gathered on Jay Bear and Allison Air Force Base as Red Flag Alaska 23-3 kicked off on August 14th. This is a high-end uh, training opportunity, so uh, the, the classification of the exercise is a little higher. However, we do generically practice uh, offensive counter-air, defensive counter-air. Around 80 aircraft roared across the skies as they participated in a series of Pacific Air Force's commander-directed field training exercises. The training we do here is a, it's a, it's a mixture of different mission sets. Uh, so when I say that, there's, uh, a, we either do offensive counter-air or defensive counter-air uh, mission sets. Perfecting critical skills. And although Red Flag Alaska is a standalone exercise, it provides the armed forces time to practice in a region of the world that's becoming a focal point for military operations. So the strategic importance of the Arctic region is, is paramount. Um, if, if nothing else, for Red Flag Alaska, this allows units opportunities to practice uh, their deployment. The Royal Australian Air Force got in on that action. RAAF says flying in Alaska is completely different than back home. And by joining this exercise, it provides them integrative training. Uh, which means that when we do need to go into any other exercises or operational areas, We've already done that training uh, with each other. Giving RAAF the ability to work hands-on with the U.S. Air Force and other branches. Being in the planning cycles together, being in the room together, putting names to faces, talking to each other, getting that common understanding. Honing in on tactics, techniques and procedures. And also share lessons learned uh, in the interest of um, our joint efforts in the Indo-Pacific region. Knowledge that RAAF can take back home and use in case their services are ever called upon with the U.S. Air Force. Inside the gates, Georgiana Fernandez, Alaska's News Source.